Hello, hello, hello. Once again, I am back with another session of my uh, first playthrough. Uh, I am going to once again apologise for being so long between... for uh, having such a long delay between this and the last part of the playthrough, but... Yeah... I... I'm running out of things that I can think about to, to speak about in general. Um, which is, as as I think I even said in the last video, slows me down. So, I will try to get it done as soon as possible, um, so that, yeah, I tried parrying him to see if it was possible, instead I died, as you do. Yes, so, uh, I'll, I'll try to catch up and make up for the episodes that I've I've, I've lost, that I've not yet done. Um, it will eventually pick up again once I get to a point where the episodes are once again uh, recorded live. Um, so I don't have to... Uh, yeah, since I, I don't have to spend another hour recording my voiceover, watching back my footage and trying not to spoil what's happening and I do a really bad job of that uh, because I'm constantly I, I I know I do it I'm constantly going on about how yeah th that it's like this and then this is what's going to happen but uh, I, I keep falling into that habit when I run out of things to say and I run out of things to say a lot so so anyways um uh, where we left off, we're heading to the chariot boss fight to try our hand at defeating him. Uh, since my friend who was going through with at the time uh, mentioned that there was another boss here, um, so I I had to back off and continue. And uh, yeah, I just had to go back and kill it to. You know, for the souls, for the experience. And in my first playthrough, since I'm going, I was going for getting every single boss killed solo. Um, I, yeah, I decided not to miss any. Um, those guys became ridiculously easy once I figured I could just dodge their three hit attack, roll behind them, and backstab them for an instant kill. Yeah. <sighs> It's... I, I don't know. I feel like it, it... I'm not sure whether it's just coincidental or... Uh, yeah, whether it's coincidental or whether it's just, you know, an act, the actual case of the weapons, but halberds have done insane uh, counter... counter damage? Uh, critical damage. And, yeah... In PvE, I take full advantage of that. I, I'm guessing it's probably because the maximum amount of damage you can do with a halberd is uh, is normally quite high. It just requires you to actually get the hit and to hit them with the end of the blade in this case, as opposed to which requires you to be in a certain position. However, when dealing with a, a critical attack, it doesn't matter, so it does the maximum damage possible there and uh, deals with it appropriately as of, yeah, as opposed to as you can see there the very little damage it does when you hit them with the actual shaft of the halberd um, yeah, the damage on the old sun ring it, yeah oh there's a I just noticed that uh the whip graphically bitched out with the uh the trail going on past where it actually was on the whip. Uh what was I'm pretty sure there's another weapon that I noticed a graphical glitch on with regards to collisions, but what was it? I can't remember. Anyways, this particular area um, 
or this path more accurately, is probably one of the ones that I dislike the most, and it's probably one of the most intimidating paths in the area, since if you go far too far forward, you end up getting ambushed by four enemies at once. Um, Yeah. As the case is here, I, you know, managed to deal with them all one at a time, which makes it easy enough, but, yeah. It, especially in NG+, uh, when those guys can... Those guys deal a lot of damage now, they deal more damage in NG+, and, yeah. And also, I'm pr I believe that their tracking carries them all the way back to the bonfire. So there's no running away until they their aggro range stops and then cheesing them. And considering how fast they run, you're not going to outrun them long enough to get a chance a good chance to heal. Without a score two. So yes, Red Phantom. Uh a regular one. Uh, I'm sorry. By regular you know, NPC. Uh already in the level. Although this unlike most I'm, I'm actually going to call the Red Phantom as opposed to the Black Phantom. Uh, although I guess technically I should call it Dark Spirit. Since the glow is that of the uh, Brotherhood of Blood when you as you progress through it. So, get an item from it. All well and good. And yeah, there's an item here. And I managed to get that, uh, you know. So, don't manage to get that. So now I have to go through that path all over again. All the over set camp. Yes. Now I've got to make my way back and get those souls back, which means I've got to obviously make the jump again, otherwise, you know, they get lost. Um, I also have to, first of all, fight all the way through uh, the hollows. Uh, sorry, the hollows, the... I can't... I, do, I don't know what to call those guys on the podiums. I'm really not sure as of yet. Um, also, I just cut a small bit out here since uh, I stopped for a while to talk to my friend and it's just me stood at the bonfire doing nothing and you know so nothing too major taken out just clipping get a few items as I go from clearing out the hollows. And now for the lovely, lovely lane of death. I don't know. I really need to find out what the names of those uh, Purgatory Guardian guys are. So I know what something to actually call them by because the one notable feature that I can think of them is that they've kind of got spiky catchpole-ish weapons, except the ones with the whips don't have that, so... <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. So I'll, I'll... I'll check up on the name or get a name for something for them eventually, and that'll make it easier for naming them. But for now, I'll... You just know who I'm referring to when I start hesitating over what on earth they called. Missed the backstab there, and also missed the uh, second swing, followed up by immediate death from getting hit by him, and there goes all of, all the souls I had on my body. So yay!
yeah. This is the, I think the first time I saw a red sign, and <laughs> I think it was around this point in the game, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing any white signs whatsoever. Um, or I think it was one of the times I went here and later, but yeah, so at first, because as I said, I was doing it blind, I didn't know the effects of the Champion's Covenant. I only knew that it was meant to make the game harder. Uh, I wasn't completely aware that it completely negated summons, but yeah, it does. Well, white summon, sorry. Red, red signs and dragon signs are perfectly fine because they're hindrances as opposed to helping. So. Whilst uh, we're in this area, I'm going to speak a bit about the uh, Dark Souls 2 level design and some things that quite frankly disappoint me with it, and I died again. I suck at dealing with this area. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is one of the areas that they had a lot of possibility to do paths and shortcuts for, but ended up replacing them with just bonfires and I think it's mainly to do with the fact that you, you know oh you can warp now we can just place bonfires anywhere we want to checkpoint because you know why why would you do it otherwise but with that tree that uh that tree that was eventually knocked down by me I yeah there's a bonfire right next to it which completely nullifies the point of it being a shortcut Likewise with the path to up to the purgatory, if you look down from the bridge you can see the bonfire more or less just underneath you. A possibility for a ladder would have been fine there as well, you know. One of the things with uh, the first Dark Souls that made it quite good when it came to those shortcuts was the fact that they all were interlinking and they all made sense and you could all see more or less where the shortcuts were, but you just need to figure out how to open them. With the cage by the uh, yeah the the skeleton lords uh, ca cage the hut with the locked door uh, yeah buffing for that extra damage because these I, I got fed up of these guys but yeah um, the I was saying. Oh yes, the uh, skeleton boards had. I'd be a bit more lenient with having a bonfire there, but mainly because the only off. Yeah, it is a decent enough distance away from the last one. There's no because the path's moving on a specific way. There's no real way to effectively fit in another shortcut. The you know, like the only thing I w would be able to think of was if there was a hut or a hidden wall or something, which a passageway led to. Uh, the hut or something, but it would just be too complicated in my opinion. It, you know, it's like that's that would be that's a good point for, place for a bonfire. And they've also got the shortcut in the skeleton area that you can open up the gate and you can pass straight through the skeletons rather than going around with all of the uh, rogue hollows. However, with this first area, they you know really missed an opportunity and well two opportunities and just you know went okay bonfire anyways being overly cautious because I'd rather not die again for obvious reasons of course I went for the healed rather than the Estus which cost me my life anyway
But based on the amount I'm stopping in this video, I guess I was probably talking with uh, my friend quite a bit. But yeah, um, continue on my way. Try to get. Well, the the first bit will be easy enough. It's mainly just getting to past the uh, the lines of the guards on the uh, on the pe pedestal. And this why is on why on earth is my preview screen lagging? Tiny as heck, and nothing else is running on my computer at the moment. That's it. Anyways, so. Check out the buckler again. So yes, basically I just need to get through all of these now and get back to the live commentary ones because I, I have one one thing I've noticed uh, with your Dark Souls on first playthroughs is more often than not, at least with me, I run out of say and. And especially when you're in the same area doing the same thing 16 different times. And the problem is I don't want to cut any of it because uh, with first playthroughs, you know, unless there's literally a massive period of me walking around not finding anything, um, you know, dark the way when you play through Dark Souls, it you know, the entire game is most of the experience, and the first playthrough is the, you know, the biggest experience, and I think it's best seen in the soul rather than, you know, cutting it out and going, oh, look, you know, never mind my six billion deaths, here's my, uh, one amazingly good run. I think there's only one other boss, um, which really gave me as much trouble as the Lost Sinner did, though. Uh, so uh, I probably will end up making a uh, another compilation of deaths for that as well, as opposed to uh, anything else. Yeah, I also need to get all these done because I, you know, I I've sort of been at a bit of an impasse with uh, getting, you know, my I got enough uh, of the clips finished that I had memory space to do things again, but now I'm starting to run low again because I started recording uh, more footage, although I've not actually utilised it yet because I keep remembering that I've got this to do first and trying to prioritise. So yeah. These guys aren't particularly hard so long as they don't hit you and so long as they don't jump down all at once, so... Uh, moving forward very slowly because, you know, don't want to have two jump down at once. Like, we constantly have. Yeah, and then he just comes with his whip and completely screws me over. For a second there, I thought I might actually open it because I've got past that having to even encounter. Um, well, without even having to fight this guy. And save me a bit of time. So he's down. Get the poison moss. If there's one good thing about dying over and over again, it's that you get plenty of poison moss for when you need it in this area. So yes, if I recall correctly, 
Uh, I think at this point my friend is getting through Earth and Peak. Um, since he found this boss first, and I found the other one, and when we talked about the bosses we fought, um, we realised that we'd actually, you know, each missed a boss. And in his case he was not sure where to go, and in my case I wanted to fight the Executioner. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Um, although because he's, you know, wasn't in Champions Covenant and had summons, he had a bit of an easier time progressing through, so. And here we go. This is the start of the incredibly simple method of defeating all of these enemies. Just get them to do their combo attack, roll behind them, backstab. <coughs> Excuse me. And even if you miss the backstab, a three hit combo with the three black light halberd was enough to take them out, for the most part. I think I just did something stupid there. Yep. And now I have to deal with two of them. I think this ends badly. Except the un the unnerfed uh, old sun ring comes in. Yeah. I was trying to conserve esters and it cost me. On the plus side, my souls don't respawn as far away, so I get the uh, joy of being able to pick those up immediately, as opposed to uh, triggering the double enemies, uh, to get aggroed by two enemies at once, whilst trying to retrieve them. So, another... It's been so long since I've done this, I can't remember whether or not I've actually got to the uh, Executioner yet through these guys, or whether I'm. this is still my first encounter with them. Three of them that time. Uh, it's going well for me with the uh, getting attacked by everything and ev uh, anything and everything at once. the sun, because how can you not praise the sun? And I think this is going to be my first successful heal. In this clip.
thanks to ambushes and both the other cases. Where I should have probably just used Estus and been done with it. Anyway, it's continuing on. Retrieve souls. Try to not have a repeat of the last time, only aggroing one of them. So you can see I'm selling much further back because I'm worried that will happen again. Yeah, that was one of the rare few cases where three hits wouldn't have been enough because none of them were uh, direct hits and were hitting with a pole as opposed to the blade. So I had to back off and yeah, it saved me, most likely. Since I do have enough stamina to swing three times at this time, but if I do, I don't have any more stamina left, so it's got to be uh, a fatal blow and I can't have anything else coming for me. That time I should have probably gone for the third, but I was being more cautious it seems. And then I said rated. Hooray. Okay, I think that's the third one down and the fourth one's still not aggroed, so everything's fine so far. Get that backstab in there, so he's done, and that defeats the final whip guy. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, okay. There we go. He's down. That ah, that took a bit of of time. Oh uh, yeah, checking to see which message was rated. And onwards. And <laughs> I fall straight down that hole. I didn't even notice the hole the first time I walked across that bridge. It's just, you know. Um, and, you know, I was fortunate enough not to fall down the first hole. Oh, <laughs> headset fell off. So now, after my first successful, that I can remember run through there to the bridge, I fall straight down the holes to my death. Hooray! Actually, I think I might have had one successful one so far, but that was in either a previous video or before I picked this up, because I have this... This part I started recording before I uh, went on holiday, and I ended up going on holiday before I had a chance to finish it, so... More standing around, not doing anything... I did a lot of that, it seems. There, uh, red phantoms everywhere. My red phantoms, sorry, red signs. Yeah, they they first started appearing around here. I'm most likely because this is the first place you can get the red signs. running away and not bothering with the uh, heal, as you can see. Okay, get the kill. The hit. Stop him. Enemy number one. Down. 
enemy number two. Number three. Down. And finally, number four. Okay, now across the bridge. Now, am I going to just fall to my death because I'm not looking at the first hole? Oh no, I noticed. Okay. Okay, yes, it seems I did get here once before. Since... Oh yeah, I got there that time and I went for that item and missed it. I think I'm in for a hard death. Yep. You know what? What I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to actually cut it down. I'm going to cut down uh, all of the running through unless I die, in which case I'll cut the bit where I die. So, because it, this is going to be me running back and forth all over the place. So, uh,. Yeah, well, I think that's what I shall do. Okay, so after actually cutting uh, out most of the content, there wasn't actually that much left. Um, so yeah, so I... Yeah, I believe this is my second attempt at the boss. So my first attempt ended up with me horribly dying in a corner because I uh, left the skeletons unchecked. So, now I'm moving forward. Being awfully cautious, I could have probably dropped. But that being said, it was the first time, so... Go straight in for the archer, not noticing the other one who just popped up. And now I'm getting swarmed. This is only going to end badly. The chariot comes to save me, and the chariot saved me. So I'll keep running around trying to find wherever I'm meant to go. Skeletons chase. Looking just at the last minute. And keep going. Find the lever. Hold it. And. Oh, and the horse is down. Although the skeleton's down and there's still a one more necromancer left. And I'm running all the way back to heal. A tiny bit of health. Oh, and yeah, this is getting quite badly now. I've not got my... Oh yeah, I was meant to put up my shield and end up casting heal again. Yeah, that was... 
Yeah, that ended a bad way. So yes, as you can see, next trip ended badly. Pretty badly. And yeah. Back to the boss. So this time I actually take out the first skeleton uh, before the chariot comes along. Carrot knocks him down, giving me time to run to get to the necromancer. Um, spin to win, not quite enough to kill him. Uh, so I back up into this corner because the carrot's coming. Um, really need to heal up. Spin to win again, this time kill him and one of the skeletons with one skeleton left. He's down. Gives me time to uh, heal up before the next segment. Just in time for me to leave. So I switch back to the shield so I don't accidentally cast heal again. Okay, lowering the skeletons, I think. I was trying to delay them for the yeah for the skeleton uh, for the chariot to come along. Take both of them out. There's a third one and a fourth one. One gets the hit whilst I'm trying to recover my stamina. They get knocked down by the chariot, but the other two were coming up, so they were fine. And now I'm left without actually, yeah, in a position not able to take care of them. So, and yeah, this looks like a bit I was meant to get out, but forgot to. Oh wait, I got invaded. That was that was it. Uh, and this ends really, really well, as I'm sure you can guess. So yes, I was contemplating sprinting through. Decided against it since. Um. Yeah, decided against it since uh, I didn't know exactly where the invader would have came from so I didn't want to start sprinting through and then have an invader just walk into my face and destroy me whilst I'm surrounded by the enemies and there he is there here he comes The R1 spam was real. And I almost get him. If that had been another critical, then he would have died. But unfortunately it wasn't. I'm sorry, critical, a uh, direct hit as opposed to a... And then I got greedy with a third swing. Since, at this point, I think this was my first invader outside of the Belfry. And, yeah. So that, that was that. Um... Yes, yeah, so I believe this is just in here to showcase what I did at this point because I lost all my souls so I just went screw it and sprinted through so this probably wasn't the best run I could have used to showcase me sprinting through but eh, it was the first one I did so yeah, I figured it would probably be better to show this one rather than the later ones and yeah especially since in this case it was one where I did get hit and I do believe getting hit at that time did put me into a position where ends up costing me here. So I really should have Estus already. Yeah, what a, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> what? I don't even know what I was thinking there. That that play made no sense to me. That was stupid on all counts of the word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that just happened.
and <laughs> then that happened. Okay, back to the actual boss. So you can see that trail uh, of Purgatory Guardians. Just, I, I, I'm still not sure what to call them. I'm certainly have a name, but I've not never actually checked. And I think, yeah, here we go. There you go. That one gets killed by them. Third one got trampled. Sprint to the Necromancer. Still don't get why I was going for the sprint win every time. And regular attacks would probably actually got killed them more efficiently. Okay, bombing and weaving. Keeping him drawn out until the chariot comes along to knock him down. And he's down. But the other two aren't because they got revived just before and I got hit by that jumping attack. Okay, next up. Up first before even triggering the skeletons. Skeletons both get instantly knocked over by the um, by the executioner to the necromancer. Here we go. Oh, missed the first regular attack. Yeah, that could have been over much faster if that one had hit. Um, oh, but he came out and got hit by the. Okay, that works, I guess. Sprinting through to the next point. And now going back to deal with them with the spin to win. Uh, missed one of them, one of the other skeletons is aggroed. Just keep blurring them back. Getting into a safe position. Locking. The other one got trampled. Able to get a poke out. He's backing off, so I have to slap him to get trampled. He's down. Okay, moving on. Let's make up for the lost ground. And the executioner. Keeps running around, looking for the necromancer. Skeletons. Necromancer down as well as one of the skeletons. <laughs> the one backs up into the horseman. <laughs> uh, sorry, the executioner. So that's down. Well, I think that's all of the skeletons. Pull the lever. And now I can actually fight the boss. Spend uh, the spare time picking up the items. Attack it whilst it's down. Enough to say that. Oh, one of the skeletons was still alive. Okay, back up into the corner to heal. And now I've got one skeleton left to deal with and the horse. He shoots his dark miasma. So I goes in and he got one hit in. Probably could have got a second one, but wasn't taking the risk. Still shooting dark miasma. I wasn't expecting it to close in the middle. Almost got me. I just get out at the last second. He does his charge. I'm prepared for the timing this time and maybe dodge it. Another couple of hits. Get out of the way. The skeleton's back. And I think I yep, yeah, I can take him down with a swing that was meant for the executioner. And so uh, hit both of them. Both out of the way. Well one out of the way, the other one. Which does need the last one. Almost did the same thing I did last time. Uh, spent the time to get the last item there, since I was there, managed to dodge the attack again, and I think the execution is as good as dead. So, the final attack, roll out of the way, 
get those last hits. And the boss is down. Victory achieved. You defeated. And now I get my Executioner's Soul and have <laughs> have an Xbox Live party. Well, not Xbox Live party. It was private chat. Um, yeah, have a private chat. Cheer and go grab the item that was behind the cage. I still want to know whether you can time it perfectly to pull down the uh, the gate just as it's landing on the executioner. So I now believe I'm checking around the other side to see if there was anything there uh, that was, you know, worth getting. Um, and the answer is no, there was a dead end which led to a fatal drop. Um, Oh yeah, although amusingly, because the fog wall had gone, the uh, guardians came in, so uh, I think most of them had meandered off, but yeah, then they aggroed in here, and then they aggroed out, so yep, dead end there, and I think I just let, let them be, didn't want to risk getting destroyed by them when uh, I had to progress beyond here. So now I go up the flight of stairs that are somewhere around here. Um, here we are. Okay, so, and here we are, the location of the Brotherhood of Blood. Um, fun story. So, the PvP video I did a while back. Um, what is it? That break I had, well, from uh, oh. PVEing at that one point. This place yeah, I used a token of spite in that okay. area um, because I wanted to get more invasions because they're going rather slowly. I thought that would help. Um, and then the internet died, and because the internet died. Uh, it wasted the entire token of spite. There's no what point to it? me of using it, oh. and as a result, I could now no longer get into the Brotherhood of Blood without getting another one, um, which you get here. So, yeah, so that was a thing. So, anyways, oh. that is that, and I am ending this here for now. Uh, I shall see you next time in the next area I go to, which I believe will be continuing through Earth and Beak.